same spot. Okay, that's what we want with our ball drop when we're kicking in general play. Okay, so we talk about control of the ball, and we want the ball to be dropped straight down, so that when we kick it, we can hit the bottom third of the ball. Top third, middle third, bottom. And the reason we want to hit that bottom third is it gives us that nice backspin, which means the ball's going to go straight. Okay, if you hit it too high, you get a top spin and it just rolls down. If you hit it in the middle, you get an ugly floater. The ball goes everywhere, you've got no control. That's what we want. So the first part is control of the ball. When we're holding it, holding hands down like this. Okay, so our fingers pointing towards the ground. We're just going to drop it down straight onto our foot. Pretty simple. Okay, so that's the part we want to hit the ball. The second part is our leg swing. Okay, and our impact point. So if you feel your foot, you can feel a big hard bone. Okay, nice big firm surface. That's where we want to kick the ball. Okay, if you hit it with your toes, it's like punching something with your fingers. Okay, it's just going to hurt or probably break your fingers, okay? You're not going to get any power in it. So we want to hit nice firm like that. And to do that, you've got to point your toe. Okay, think about it. If your foot's all floppy, if you've got to kick it, you're not going to get any power. Nice firm foot. Swing through. Alright. So dropping the ball onto that part of our foot. Okay. So, in pairs, they're the first two points you're going to do. So just in pairs, I just want you to be this far away from each other. Okay, all we're going to work on is dropping the ball, hitting it on that firm part of our foot. Okay, and just trying to get that back to just get a feel for it, right? Just nice and simple, just warm up, go okay, into it. I think we've got one extra, so we might have to be Okay, see how both your hands like clear out. Okay, what we want, so you can kick with your right foot. Right foot, yeah. Instead of going like that, see how automatically the ball starts moving? I've got no control. So we want to have control with like your right hand, okay, a little bit more. So your left hand is just like a guiding hand. Your right hand is the one that's going to put it on your foot. So instead of letting go with both hands, try and see if you can just put it with one foot. Okay, so have this hand is really control. And so when you go to kick it, this hand comes off. But instead of both hands flying out like an eagle, we don't want that. We just want one. Put it down. It's alright. A bit better. Try and keep that hand guiding the ball. So that hand stays, this hand goes. I've got a, we've got a good drill that we're going to do in a bit, which we're going to work on. Okay? Now, just the last thing that we'll do while well, we're just kicking in pairs, okay, we're just going to do that for another couple of minutes. But what I want you to work on, okay, is now our accuracy. Alright, so and that's a lot to do with our leg swing and our drop, okay. So we've already talked about the drop, about dropping it straight, okay. For the most part, it looks really good, okay. I was really impressed with that. The next part, though, is, okay, where we drop it and where our leg swings through. So, if my leg, if I drop the ball in the middle here, my leg is probably going to have to swing through on that arc, isn't it? So kick it, and if my leg swings through there, where's the ball going to go? Okay, that way. All right. Okay. Or the other option is that I drop it here, my leg swings through here, but then I move the ball out and then I slice it, and it goes that way. So you're going to lose a little bit of control. So what we want is we want to have the drop over our leg, over our kicking leg, 
Okay, and that's where our leg swing's gonna go. If you naturally come round a little bit, no issue. Okay, a lot of kickers do. If a lot of kickers come round, your drop still has to be in line with your leg. Okay? So if I'm one, if I come round and I'm trying to kick it goal, okay, I still have to drop the ball so that it's in line with my leg. Okay, if I drop it here, what's gonna happen is it's here. I'm going to come right round on it because I have to and the ball's going to go even further. Okay, or if I drop it outside my leg okay, and I come round, I'm going to slice it and it's going to go. So you need to make sure that you're dropping it through. It should go straight through like that. Okay, see? So what I want you to work on now is making sure that your leg is going to your target. Okay, so when you finish, you should have your foot pointing at your target. Alright? See? And if you're the person opposite them, I want you to have a look at where they drop the ball. Is it in line with their leg? Is it over here? Okay, you can start helping them out a little bit now as well. Control. Okay, the reason I like control is that because you want to, you're almost trying to place it on your foot. Okay, drop implies that you just let it go. And we're not just letting it go, we're controlling it. Okay, so we're talking about control of the ball, the impact point, and by impact point, where we hit the ball on the ball, and also where we hit it on our foot. Okay, we've talked about our follow through to our target. And the last one is what we call lower leg speed. Okay, so uh, by lower leg speed, I mean from your knee to your ankle. Okay, and it's how you get that whip. So like when we teach little kids uh, in AFL, we talk about flicking mud. So imagine you're just trying to flip mud at your target. Okay, and that's that bang, that real good whip. And that gets a lot of your power. So we're going to do a little drill, okay, just working on getting that lower leg speed, okay? So if we wander over to the post, does someone have a reasonably dry football? Okay, that you can do pretty easy. You go anywhere where there's like a lamppost or a pole or anything like that. Okay, really good one to work on making sure that when you go to drop the ball, okay, it's one handed. Some of you at the moment are kind of two hands. Okay, if you go two hands kick, okay, you close your hips off, which means you can't get any power. So one hand, you open up, bang. Okay, you get a lot more distance. So that's just um, one little drill that works on the one-handed drop and that lower leg speed, okay? So we'll do that again. All right, it's a good one. It's just that I know the first time you do it, it's really awkward trying to hold the ball with one hand when you haven't done much of it, okay? But as you get used to it, it becomes sort of second nature anyway. So okay, now we're going to get into a little bit more sort of game-like, okay? So kicking. So you'll notice how I've got four sets of cones out here. So if we just come over to this yellow one. 
there's two red cones out there. Okay, in your pairs or that one group of three. Okay, you're gonna have someone pass the ball, so if you just want to drop back here, you can pass the ball to me. So one pair's gonna drop pass the ball. I'm gonna be here. Okay, you've got to kick it before the red cones. So you're gonna be in there, and you're gonna tell me either the far one or the front one. So back or front. Okay, and that's the what cone I've got to hit. Front. Okay, so what we're going to try and do, so then if I went for the back one, so we do the next one, pick, grab the ball, okay, so try to hit the target, so back, back. alright, so we're just trying to get it close to it, okay, just to get a feel for a bit of distance, but also a bit more game like, in that it's not rushing it, okay, I don't want you to rush it, but I just want you, when you get it, okay, you get it, you get set, okay, and then work on those things that we've worked on, so, Making sure the drop's straight. Okay, your legs going through. So get it. Okay, I'm going to do that. Three. Alright, so. Deja, deja pretty good today for the guys who were here last week um, looking heaps better already uh, and then for the guys who are new it's good to see you guys kind of on the, the kicking I think I'll be doing this kind of once a week so we'll be kind of running through some stuff so we'll go over a few other things a few more little tricks and drills and stuff that I've got to show you as well that'll just help you out and it's things that you can do in your own time as well to improve but we always finish off with a bit of a challenge so crossbar challenge we've got a couple of minutes okay mm. everyone grab a footy have your own football. Okay, kick. First person to hit the crossbar, so not the upright. Okay, not the upright, so that doesn't count. Got to hit the crossbar. Next week, I will bring you something. I forgot to bring it this week. But next week, I'll bring you a little prize. I'm not sure what it is yet. But if I hit it, no prizes. Someone... Okay, Sam. Um, you have been an um, AFL player or AFL coach. Yep. And so tell us what you're doing with our boys here in the academy. Yeah, so just taking them through a lot of kicking out of the hand stuff. So um, just your general play kicking, kicking for touch, everything like that. So coming from an AFL background, that's kind of the major skill in, uh, in AFL. So I'm really working with the boys just on a few of their technique points. So not trying to overhaul their kicking style or anything like that. It's just more about saying, hey, when you're trying to do a kick that is consistent, you know, and efficient, and gets the results that you want, what are you actually looking for? And it's just about them now being able to self-evaluate that as well. So just start getting them thinking about kicking, which a lot of the guys in, coming from a rugby background don't really have. So that's kind of the main goal that I've got with the boys. Um, so tell us a little bit of uh, your background in, in AFL and uh, why you're here in New Zealand. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm from New Zealand, I grew up here. Um, so I've lived here my whole life. Um, I actually was quite late to um, AFL. I played basketball all through uh, school and played rugby until I was about 12. Um, got into AFL when I was sort of left school. Um, and since I've been involved with them, been in the New Zealand team for the last four years, um, I've played in a few tournaments over in Melbourne. And my job is um, with AFL New Zealand, doing a lot of coaching development and uh, a lot of skill development. So I deal with a lot of our kids in our academy and our secondary schools program. So actually working through and taking them from their background, whether it's rugby or basketball or volleyball or whatever, soccer, and actually giving them the skills that are necessary in AFL. And so because of that, and because I do love rugby being a New Zealander, I sort of started to be a bit more involved in rugby coaching and helping out with the skill background that I actually have. So that's kind of, that's really where I've kind of sort of come from. Um, so what is your program uh, here with the Academy, with Auckland Rugby Academy? How long will you train the boys? Uh, how many times a week? Um? Um, so really I'll just be doing it once a week. Um, I know because of the variety of sessions that they have, we just kind of slot in there. But the amazing thing was with, um, with kicking, a lot of the boys have never actually really been taught you know, what they're trying to achieve when they kick. And so the one session that I've got with them is just to give them a bit of a background on that and then hopefully they can do a lot of the stuff in their own time. So at the moment it's just once a week, but we'll kind of see how it goes and see whether we need to up that a little bit as well. Thank you very much. All right.